Had a great freshman year. Chops this one. Fair down the third baseline. Pass counter short down in the corner. Laird comes around third. They'll hold him there. Second and third and nobody out here on the top of the first. One two pitch. Fly ball into right center field. That's going to get out and go all the way to the warning track or just shy of it. Two runs are going to score. And the one two. And there's a drive out to left center field deep and two runs will score at least. Yep, two score, double for more, and it's 5 nothing LSU. The wind and pitch. And there's a ball knocked oh down my. by the third baseman. Two first, took away a double from Anthony Greer. And the count is 2-2, two and two, the pitch. Line drive into left field, base hit. Runner home, it's 8 nothing. 1-0. Ebert bunts it right side. Good one. First baseman fields, flips to first, safe. 1-0. Chopper to third. Ibarra to the bag there, to first there, two outs and a runner at second. Hitting 288 on the year, four home runs. Chopper left side and through. Another run is in, it's 10-0 LSU. Saturday situation. Hacker takes off. Tom Shea swings and misses, ball game over. Just very unusual to, to see a team come out and hit Dylan Ortman the way LSU did tonight. Yeah, I tell you what, they got after it. You know, I mean, they scored 27 runs in their midweek game. They're swinging the bat really hot right now. And, you know, like I was talking to uh, Paul before the game, you know, everybody hopes to get hot at the right time, and he thinks his offense is really starting to come on, and they showed that tonight. And they, they showed that throughout the game. 44, 45 pitches, something like that for Dylan when when, when you lifted him. Is he is he able? Is he eligible to come back for you later on in the series at this point? Well, definitely he's an option. We've got to ask him tomorrow how his arm feels, but that was the whole plan. I mean, once he got up six to nothing, we need to get him out of there and, and uh, you know, because he's already pitching on short notice. So I, I don't know if he'll be able to go Saturday. We'll have to leave that up to him. He's got to take care of his arm, and he'll know better than anybody how he feels. Poche did what you want out of a pitcher. He gets the, the lead, and, and, and he went out and, and did his work on the mound. Yeah, he did, you know, and it, it probably – he pitched well, but it, it probably was a pretty easy assignment. Uh, being ahead six to nothing so early in the ball game, and he got to just fill it up with a lot of fastballs. He didn't have to get crafty, and you know, even when we did square one up, it seemed like it went to somebody. And they make plays. I mean, their left side of the infield is as good as I've seen all year, and uh, they can flat pick it at shortstop and third base. So if the ball was hit on that side of the infield, they were scooping it, and you know, if they took a ball away from us, a double probably down the line with a backhand, great play, and their shortstop gobbles up everything. See you back here tomorrow night, War Eagle. Sounds good. Thank you, War Eagle.